Okay, I've started on this HQ and I'll show you what I'm faced with. I'm just looking at painting this panel down here that has had already had a repair and I used a, a block with a bit of, of sandpaper on it, that there, so it's flat and you can see over here where those round bits are, that's high spots and they're, they're probably bits of rust that are starting out under there. Now that section there you can see because it had guide coat on it has little bits of black still in it that's a low spot obviously and this orangey colour in behind here and there's a little bit of an orangey colour in behind here that's actually the bog from underneath behind the paint because you've got the primer over the repair here you've got the, um, the paint underneath the yellow here that is acrylic primer. Uh, it's definitely acrylic on this car. And so you got that, you got the pink, and that bluey color there, that is bog, that is bog, and this under here is bog. So it hasn't got much primer on top. I would say that's just a bit of a can primer. Uh, so I'm just gonna prep it and put a little bit of can primer back on it, and then hopefully paint it over the top and not have any issues, but never guaranteed when you've got open edges like this. Okay, so these are some of the issues. Uh, see that? I just blew off a whole chunk of bog and underneath with rust underneath when I was just blowing down to kind of dry that so I could uh, do a bit of painting. So what do I do now? Uh, you know, I want to fill it up with bog, but that whole bottom of the panel is rust poking out and it comes up here. So essentially I would have this massive, you know, repair of the whole door. So I just simply don't have the uh, time or equipment. Where are we? And then uh, up here there was a chunk of bog coming off. So I've dug into that to repair it and uh, there's no metal left. So we don't have the equipment all the time to fix this properly. Plus, we would go right round to the inside of the door here and it is, it's all rusty. Like if we were to try and weld that, it'll just blow it out. So we've made the harsh decision to actually fill that up with bog and just get some colour on it because you know this is a favour for someone it's just the issues that you come across when you're having to do old cars they just open up a can of worms and you got to try and keep it contained and yeah that's not contained unfortunately so while I've started to fill that with bog and tidy that bit up we did have this hole of rust here uh, that was noted on the warrant of fitness so we had to do something about it and it was $450 for a bottle of gas for the welder and it was $150 for the local panel shop to just weld a piece in and they've just they've done it over the top they haven't but, but joined it so it's a bit it's a bit messy but at least uh, it's sorted and we can start tidying that up so the list of things goes on on this car all right here we are on the HQ again I'm hoping to get a bit of color on today I've done those repair patches as best I can but you know we saw the big hole here and then that's the rust down there and it's actually got a crack in it there was actually another repair down there which I'm not going to fiddle around with it's not perfectly smooth I just want to get a bit of color on it and the door those rust bubbles you know they've just popped off even all the way so all I can do is cover it with color and it's just not you know it's not gonna look pretty pretty yeah but I am a bit pleased with this come up quite well. Uh, I had to grind down the welds a little bit and, uh, you know, tickle it up with a little bit of bog, but essentially, 
you couldn't tell that was there. There was also another repair up there. So again, I'm not going to muck around and make it all smooth and pretty. I'm just going to try and get a bit of colour on. And my challenge is not the colour, it's the clear. We only have it in a aerosol can and uh, I'm not real flash with aerosol cans. So we will see how we go, especially blending into this quarter. Uh, you know, the whole lot needs clearing. Generally, I'd clear the whole lot and up over the roof because there's nowhere to stop. So let's see how uh, this one ends up. It'll be interesting. Easy bit done. Colours on. It's looking a bit better. Let's see how we go with this clear. Okay, there we go. That's the edge I have to try and get rid of. We'll check that out another time. But uh, that inner door pillar is... Looking pretty good.